Shocking body camera video released today shows the deadly police shooting of Sonia Massey. The mother of two called 911 just before 1 a.m. because of a possible prowler, only to be shot by a deputy inside her own Illinois home. A now former deputy faces three counts of first-degree murder. CBS's Roxana Saberi has the video that shows the chaotic moments, and we do want to warn you that it is hard to watch. In today's video, I'm going to be reacting and posting a video of a older black lady calling 911 and when the deputies responded, you know, they pretty much fatally shoot her after telling her she can move a pot of water. Let's talk about it. Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, first and foremost, I'm going to post this clip in here so you can see it. And then once it's over, I'll tap back in with you guys. The body camera video reveals the events leading up to the horrific scene. What took you so long to answer the door? Oh, I was trying to put on some clothes, sir. I'm sorry. You doing all right mentally? Yes. Sure? My medicine and stuff. All right. Inside the home, Sangamon County Sheriff's Deputy Sean Grayson can be heard asking Sonia Massey to check on the stove. We don't need a fire while we're here. Within seconds, things become tense. Huh? Uh, away from your hot steam and water. Away from my hot steam and water? Yeah. Oh, I would rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I'll rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I swear to God, I'll you drain your face. Massey starts to set down the pot and apologizes. Grayson fires three times, striking her in the face. Headshot with the female, 1078. Prosecutors say Grayson's partner tried to give the 36-year-old first aid, even though Grayson discouraged him. I'm going to go get my kit. No, you have to get your you done. You can go get it, but that's a headshot. Civil okay. rights attorney Benjamin Crump is representing Massey's family. Sonia needed a hip and hand, but she got a shot to the face by the police. James Wilburn is Massey's father. I'm heartbroken. I just don't know what to say. What's the hardest part about this for you? I think the last words that my daughter said to me was, Daddy, I love you. And to know and realize that I won't see her again. I can't talk to her again. I can't touch her again. All right, so as you can see, what pretty much provoked this was, she said, I'm going to rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And she said it twice. The police officer said, no, you are not. Now, the video later shows the police officer lying by saying she came at him with a boiling pot of water, which you can clearly see she should not, which you can clearly see that she did not do. And, you know, in today's video, man, I want to uh, put a very important message out, you know, to black people because this stuff is becoming very frequent meaning we're seeing more than a couple of these per year, knowing that there's already bad apples, uh, you know, in pretty much every facet or every organization or age, there's always some bad apples. But I will tell black people this specifically. Man, every time you call 911 for assistance, you are rolling the dice. You are rolling the dice. This woman called 911 for assistance of a uh, possible intruder and she lost her life. And this is what I mean. Them 911 operators, when you call, they're not taking your call and saying, hey, how you doing and what's going on? And you saying, I'm a God-fearing man or woman and please somebody, send somebody out, commandment keeping out. No, that's not what they're doing. You know, 
they're sending out whoever is available and they're putting that call out and then officers hear that and then they respond. You don't know when you hear that knock on the door, who's on the other side and do they have anything in them demonic that will warrant them taking your life, just or unjust. I tell you, man, you need to, you need to, you know, if you can avoid calling 911 and work through stuff yourself, I highly recommend you do it. I highly recommend you do it. Know your state laws, arm yourself. See, if you arm yourself, you can avoid uh, stuff like this where, 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 you know, now it warrants, okay, hey, you can call your little, uh, your gun protection insurance agency, Hey, this just happened. Let your lawyer take it from there. That way you don't have all this to worry about. You know, you having these little altercations and disputes and you calling 911. Hey, I'm telling you, you don't know who you are going to, who's going to respond to your call. And there are some good police officers out there. There's bad apples. You think in the, in the in, in, in normal business, there's bad apples. There's just people that just won't do right. But the Most High Yah did say, you would face persecution for my name's sake. You would suffer for my name's sake. This woman said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus twice. Next thing you know, that was the last word she said. Last word she said. So I tell you, man, uh, I moved out of the city for the simple fact that the crime was too high. We was in a nice HOA neighborhood, crime was still high. We moved out into the wilderness, out into rural area, and uh, the city police don't even respond. You're gonna get, you know, uh, their response time is not that quick because people in the country generally handle stuff on their own. There's some, I, out of three years in living in a rural area, I've never seen the police at one of my neighbor's house. Never seen it, never heard the sirens, None of that. I tell you, man, you might wanna, if you are anti-gun, anti-this, and live in the city, realize, hey, these people are breaking in houses because they know your mind has been softened to where you don't wanna protect yourself. You know, you need to think long and hard uh, about how you talk to law enforcement when you get pulled over. I got videos on my channel of countless black women and black men talking crazy to the police officer and wonder why they got a, a arrest record. I'm telling you, there's police officers that's not gonna take, they're not gonna take your beliefs, they're not gonna take your back talk, they're not gonna take uh, pretty much anything from you and them policing you up pretty much uh, includes them taking your life. Even if it's unjust, you got some of them out there that operate like that, that hunt you know, waiting on that call. Oh, oh, this the one. You know, I'm telling you, you might want to think twice before calling 911. You know, we see this oftentimes. I got a video out where 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 women always threatening to call the uh the police on a man and all of that. I'm telling you, you better think twice. You better think twice. You might end up dead. You might end up in handcuffs. Your child, you might you might be you might be putting a, a, a death wish on your child's father. I'm telling you, you might want to think twice. You might want to think twice. You are gambling with your life every time because you don't control or know who is going to knock on your door uh, saying it's the police. Close to the Yah Ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Bow.